We are, you know, proud to be here. We love the city of Gothenburg. It's been a great uh, community and it fits our culture as well as I think we fit into that culture. We're in the business of connecting people, places, things. You know, whether it's students for education, whether it's local small town businesses, whether it's residents of our rural Nebraska, uh, that's what we do. We are here to address the issues of faith and uh, personal spiritual growth. People in general like aesthetically pleasing stuff and I, I think if we look at Gothenburg we know that's the kind of community we are. I've been that way for years. The reason we do what we do is to serve others and to bring families together, kids, grandparents, make it a traditional place where they go and have memories and tell their children about. Makes you feel at home. Yeah. The reason we do what we do is, is because we love service. Randy and I just love helping people get the shirt off our back easy if you asked us and, and we're just here to, to serve. We want to be um, everything automotive that we can be but we also just want to be genuine people that are, are here to help people when they're in need. The reason I do what I do, I feel like it's an opportunity to make a difference. In my day to day, I get to help people every single day. We get to help people from the medical community to the frontline workers at any business. It's a unique opportunity to make a difference. Well, the business does a lot for the community. It, um, it generates a lot of sales tax dollars uh, that goes back into the community as far as TIF funds and those type of things. So we can recruit other businesses back into our town. Before COVID happened, our business is running great. Um, we were very consistent and I like to just have enough time for every person that's kind of right where we were. You know, business before COVID-19 was uh, steady, growing. So our business prior to the COVID epidemic breaking out was very strong. Before the pandemic, we were in a very good spot and things were going very well. Before the COVID, business was steady, consistent, predictable. Before COVID, we were a church that is struggling with many of the things that other churches are struggling with. Um, that being said, with nobody coming together, that has made a huge difference. In many ways, our business before COVID and our business after COVID were very similar. We're in the people business, we're in the money business, we help people. Some of the solutions we're using have evolved or been enhanced. The technology to help people with their banking, with remote deposit, with online banking, with online bill pay, all of those tools existed before COVID. As far as business goes, it's extremely slow. As far as our numbers go, I mean, we've had zero production since uh, the mandate came out. Now, if you go back to last winter, or last fall, I just assumed this spring would be business as usual, and obviously that has changed. We've gone from 100 to 120 person contacts on a weekend to no personal contacts on a weekend. Business has slowed down um, somewhere around the 60% range from what we can tell so far without running all the numbers. The community can help our company by the services that we offer. I mean, we have the full website. We offer delivery. Um, and here at Sander Furniture, we are taking the precautionary needs through the COVID. People in the community could do to help our business during this time is just continue to spend money with us. Um, if you're not driving your vehicle right now and you're not needing things done in your vehicle, you could buy gift cards. If you're going to need tires in the future, you're going to need oil changes in the future, you're going to need detailing in the future, spend that money on a gift card now. Get rewarded for doing so by us giving you extra money for it and uh, just help us to keep our doors open and, and our employees paid and keep us moving forward during this time. We, we've gone and done pretty much everything digital. Um, we are making contacts with people. We have uh, changed our service from being Facebook Live to uh, recording our service and posting it on Facebook and YouTube and our webpage and any of our, any of our meetings that we're holding during the week we're hosting through Zoom. The community to help us out, they can stay healthy. If they need us, call us. Like I said, we'll deliver. We've got curbside. I've been basically just having to do teledentistry. Um, people have a problem, call me on my 
cell phone. We will be posting online a list of the plant material for the greenhouse side. We will be able to utilize FaceTime for people. We will offer to deliver here in town for free. Um, we're going to have curbside pickup. We can make arrangements over the phone. Um, people can know what their what their costs are going to be. They can give us a check or maybe we'll invoice them. Whatever it takes, we will make it happen. You know, our message from Pinpoint's perspective is, is that we're here. We truly care about the community, its health, its well-being, and its success. We're along for that ride. We're here to help you. We're doing these installs and, and educational and work from homes and teachers and healthcare people that are on the front line. We're here to support you. We'll be here for the long haul. Anything we can do to help support our local economy, our local business community, our local nonprofits, our local churches, our local organizations, all of those things come together to make Gothenburg great. My message to the community during this time would be to, to be smart, to listen to the directives that are being given and try to be part of the solution, not be part of the problem. The community can continue to be supportive of whatever church you're part of. We can put the Gothenburg way in the midst of all of that as we take care of one another. The message to the community is to stay positive, help each other out, be loving, be kind. To me, the Gothenburg way means uh, that we don't accept typical small town limitations. I think that we always think bigger and go beyond um, what we think a typical small town farm community can do. A message to Gothenburg. Thank you for making us a great community. Gothenburg Way is more than just when the community and the surrounding area is, is doing very well. It is, when it is how we rise up in the time of, of uh, need. The things that make our community great, you see people downtown and everybody waves. Everybody's willing to help out the next person. They're willing to help carry out that bag of groceries to the, to the old person out, out to their car when there's nobody there to help them. When I think about the Gothenburg Way, I think of it more about people in this community, volunteers, paid people, um, businessmen, employees, residents, all putting forth a lot of effort for the good of the community. Gothenburg Way to me is leadership, communication, growth, and responsibility. It's exciting to see, it's exciting to be a part of. Um, they know how to get it done and they go do it. The Gothenburg Way to us is faith, family, and community. If you ever need anything, it's always available. And that's just Gothenburg. You know you can come home to that, no matter how long you've been gone or if you're just starting out. You know, keep us in mind, uh, help us help the businesses out. Find out what their services and what uh, what you can do to and what they can do to help you back. And uh, we appreciate everything you've done for us. Appreciate your business, and God bless you. We're a bunch of houses, streets, businesses, but without the people, we are not Gothenburg. It's the people within our community that make Gothenburg special. I believe the Gothenburg Way means working together. When we choose to work together, it is amazing what we can accomplish. Gothenburg does not lose. We're gonna come out of this ahead. Thank you for being Gothenburg.